Outside of 69 West Washington, cries to get the attention of the Cook County State's Attorney before she leaves office at the end of the year. They want those wrongfully convicted to be released, particularly to review 25 cases. Why are these men still suffering? Why do they have to keep fighting? We're appealing to you as a human being, as a mother. You know, let your legacy be that you reunited families and communities. Among those gathered, men who served decades on wrongful convictions. Don't turn your back on the rest of these guys. Keep it flowing. This is about your legacy. Stop it. This stuff needs to stop. People, families are dying while they're in prison. Yes. Their children are growing up estranged. Yes. These are human beings. Fox confirms 244 have been exonerated following wrongful convictions during her tenure. And today, she shared there is much more to be done. I think we're just scratching the, the surface. I think we're at the tip of the iceberg. Fox tells us the resources to review cases in the conviction review unit are not enough to address all of the wrongs. This isn't a priority just for Kim Fox, for the Cook County taxpayer, for the people who need to have faith and credibility in this system. This can't end when this administration ends. This evening, Fox hosts the second annual Wrongful Conviction Day commemoration. Some of those who rallied are expected to attend. Fox and the advocates we spoke with estimate there are hundreds more men and women still serving time on wrongful convictions. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.